Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. On this episode, we're going to be talking about Nashville Barrel Company and their rye release. Mm-hmm. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Matt, why don't you give us a little information here? All right. This is the Nashville Barrel Company. So it's a newer company that's come out. They do, they're just kind of like Obtaniums. They do the same thing. They source a bunch of different types of barrels and then you go do, do barrel picks. So Show them the other cool. side. Show them the other side. This is a really cool thing is the dark side the rise again so this is an eight year single barrel rye and actually these are available locally and if you guys are interested after you hear this uh you can contact us and uh we can put you in contact with the person that has the bottles that's All some right. tater sticker man yeah, yeah that is an awesome tater sticker so there's no made up so they're really transparent no made up crap um like so they pick they do barrel picks of bourbon rye light whiskey rum tequila canadian rye and barrel aged stouts even when you're done with your barrel, you can go make a beer, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, you can go there with up to six people, stay with them, do a pick, take home the barrel that day even, which is pretty nice. Wow. They'll even help you with distribution, which is pretty cool. They have a And they have a brand new home in the railroad district of downtown Nashville. So this particular one here, our buddy Charlie Gaddy let us borrow this one. So thanks, Charlie. Really appreciate it. This is an eight-year ride this is from MGP. Uh, this is barrel 164, comes in 115.46%. It says it's a 955 and MGP between a Texas group and Wisconsin group. Who picked this? Like I said, this is the dark side rises again with that awesome tater sticker. So let's see what we think of this. Oh, it smells wonderful. Oh, wow. That smells like a rye. Like this smells mm. like a really nice spicy rye. It's very spicy. Oh, yeah. Rye, very cinnamon, man. black pepper. Mm-hmm. Peppermint, I mean, anise. Yeah peppermint winter fresh fresh rye bread spearmint even yeah even yeah it's even it's also got this like nice salty uncooked dough note to it with some white grape like chardonnay and some butteriness yep get all that i don't get the the normal dill most we've seen no so far no Mm. It's no, this overpowered is... with mint and black pepper. It's beautiful. That's a See, beautiful I'm getting a cup. yeasty, bready, doughy, mm-hmm. um, uh, walking into Subway, fresh baked bread type yeah. of vibe. Yeah, I can definitely see that. And yeah, definitely well. fresh bread, 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 sure. But this is like, again, more of like a cinnamon loaf because this is, it's, it's, it's got some spice to it. Oh, this has got a lot of spice to it. This is I'm hoping for some spicy. peppers on the on the palate because like this thing is presenting on the nose like it's going to have some serious heat to it. I see. I wouldn't necessarily go with like a cinnamon loaf. I would go more with like if they were to like put some kind of like Italian seasoning on top of the bread and then break Ooh. it. Type of okay. Thing. Good. Okay. Okay. See that? Smells white. Right. That basil. Yeah. That oregano. Oregano. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm going in. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that proof. Mm-hmm. Ooh, baby, that is delicious. Oh, that is rye. Man, I get man. I get some of this this Ooh. slight pickle on the palate. Yeah. It's at the oh, very front. Yeah. It mellows really fast and it's not overpowering. And then, and then it's just it does have that cinnamon boom. Um and and I'm more like cinnamon listerine. Okay. And gum or you know it's almost like a watered down cinnamon but then it goes into those mints the spearmint the wintergreen mm-hmm. those types of mm-hmm. yeah tons of black pepper mm-hmm. ready and spicy yeah i do get a really like a really nice dill pickle spear in here like a reuben sandwich with some pastrami and sour this is really meaty dry smoked fish See, that's what it is. There's a thread of dill in it along so with good, layers. I yeah, it doesn't overpower. Yeah, it's just like a really nice accent note to a sandwich. It's delicious. And that black pepper is right there on the finish. Yeah. And it's mm. it just, it's mm. almost like you accidentally chomped on a piece of black pepper mm-hmm. and it, that burn that kind of goes down your throat a little bit. Yeah. The finish so is still good. going. Still going. Mm-hmm. It's a really nice, long, lingering finish. I'm enjoying oh, this. Yeah, I really, I really, really like this rye. This is a really, really good rye. Yeah, they did a good job with this. Um, I would even put this in the range of close to like Kentucky Owl type range of how good this is. This is a really good rye. And I'll tell you why. The price point on this is $200. So I, I understand why. So I, and I get it. It is expensive. 
I get it. And I know that's, you know, and I know they also do cheaper ones at this distillery too. That's just like, this is the single barrel, the eight, the older ones. They do cheaper ones too. So I looked into them pretty extensively. I know they, I think their base price is around 65 and kind of goes up from there. What I was noticing on their website. So I like yeah, they do you want that tater time. sticker. Yeah. Pay pay for it. <laughs> I mean, you do have to have this amazing, and this is going to be a really cool series. These guys are actually going to do. So it'll be fun to get those and try those as well over time. So, but yeah, this is this is really really good. I really like this rye a lot. Water mellows out the proof. The proof spike was a little bit too much for you. It mellows that out. Okay. But I'm losing a bit of complexity. I'm uh, losing yeah. Ooh, actually like layers lot. of things. A lot of complexity. So they they it they doesn't obviously chose this proof. It, it, the, like the way I explained it, it doesn't flow over my palate the same way with the different steps of the flavors that come across. It just goes from a little bit of dill to a lot of cinnamon to kind of nothing. Yeah. And the finish does drop off a cliff. The finish drops completely. See, now I'm getting this like really uh, nice butterscotch on the bottom part of my, of my inside of my cheeks and my, the gums that I'm really starting. That's really nice. Kind of like a Werther's original butterscotch, just kind of sitting there, really hanging out. I really like yeah, this one. I think I that. Right. I'm dumping my water and pouring a uh, fresh one again because I, I didn't enjoy that with the drop. I found so much more complexity in the in the unadulterated spirit. Unadulterated. <laughs> Unaltered. Yeah, let's use the right word. <laughs> Quite unmolested unmolested <laughs> yeah so uh like, we, have, we have a live audience today. so aj pointed out this is actually the uh the wild turkey bottle the uh, master's key bottles yeah it is so, yeah, nice. it's the same, yeah it's the same exact bottle so it's pretty cool they, they're using those bottles too that's hilarious and the wax in this thing could i mean that's okay wild turkey can go back to their old bottle for that this one. is a wild wax i mean that is some that thing is not coming off I like how it. it only goes down one side of the bottle, not both, so that they can't do the same thing. As oh, right, right. The whole, uh, yeah, make a short <laughs> thing. You know. Don't want to get... Oh, we're at an angle, man. We only got one side. That's right. <laughs> All right. This is some good shit. Yeah. I said it. it. Uh, yeah. If 200 is in your range uh, of something to spend on a whiskey, this yeah, is a good one. Yeah. If you're interested, does it, we can put you in contact with people that made this. I know they say they still have some left, and uh, they're happy to uh, take care of you. If you look really close, you can see cat head shadow. Mm -hmm. well, well, yeah. He's moved some, but it's on the video. <laughs> it Are looks like fine? Batman. <laughs> nice. Batman. All right. Anywho, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. And until next time, keep on crusading for the whiskey in your class. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Please leave. He's got one of the best barrel picks of rye I've ever had. That'd be spectacular. Oh, I don't know about that. You think this is better than our Sagamore pick? Totally different. I I don't I don't disagree.